If the location's right, wind is an important renewable option. And if you're in the UK, the windiest location in Europe, it's one of the cheapest ways to generate renewable electricity. Unfortunately, wind turbines have had a bad press, but Ecotricity is a company on a mission to turn this around. Dale Vince got involved in wind power 15 years ago. He used to live an eco-friendly traveller's life, but wanted to see how much more of a difference he could make by renting this farmer's land and installing a large wind turbine to generate electricity. Ten years ago it went up in the face of local scepticism. I saw her. Yeah. It's um, going to kill a thousand birds a year, they said. Yeah. Yeah. I've never found one dead bird. It's radio, <laughs> TV television. Signals, yeah. Pacemakers. Pacemakers. Yeah. And the list goes on. Since then, his company, Ecotricity, has become a significant UK wind power provider, accounting for one in ten of all the wind farms in the UK. Like many renewable energies, the capital costs for installing wind turbines are high, but the running costs are low. The main way in which Ecotricity generates the capital to build wind turbines is by acting as an electricity supplier as well. All the profit made from the electricity supply business is reinvested in building new wind turbines. Good morning, Ecotricity Joe speaking. I can help. There's a customer base of 30,000 households and 1,000 businesses choosing Ecotricity as their energy supplier, as wind power is now seen by many as one of the best ways of reducing the UK's impact on the environment. We do get questions from customers saying, um, if it's not a windy day, am I going to have no electric? Um, and then we educate them as to how the system works and it's not just about having renewable energy directly from us but it's about contributing so we can build more sustainable um, renewable energy sources. So how does it actually work? Electric power is produced by a generator in the rotating turbine and sent through a transformer to the local network of the national grid. Many different generators are supplying the grid all the time and you can't really specify where the electricity for a particular user comes from. But locating electricity generators closer to users, like these people in the village down the road from the Ecotricity turbine, means that less energy is wasted in transmission. Ecotricity customers buy all the wind energy that Ecotricity can put into the grid, which currently meets about a quarter of their needs. The rest comes from conventional energy generators. And what is important is that their monthly bills finance new turbines and the import of more wind power capacity to the national grid. You don't really have to give anything up, you just use a different supplier. You do feel better about it when you know that it's not actually polluting the planet every time you use an electrical appliance. Ecotricity has become a master in the art of finessing planning. The turbines it uses work well at lower wind speeds. This means there are more viable sites to put them up in the country. But there's a maze of restrictions in the way. Once it's found a suitable site, it needs to be sure of local backing for the idea before applying for planning permission. There's a policy of engagement with the community, with public information sites and open meetings. The result is 90% planning approval for all their applications. The first turbine installed here in Swaffham in 1999 was so popular with residents that they encouraged the local council to approve a second. There are now plans for another six turbines. For me, it's, it's a great idea. I don't mind, not at all. I look at these and I think, you know, this is advancement in the right direction. I'm all for it. Yeah. As public concern over climate change grows, businesses are keen to go visibly green with wind power. At this new business park in Reading, the turbine on display by the M4 is a visible statement of commitment to the green cause. The popularity of developments like this has launched a new model of siting turbines and selling wind electricity called Merchant Wind Power. The latest example is under construction in Bristol Port. On this brownfield site, there'll be three turbines providing six megawatts, the annual energy use of two and a half thousand homes. Under this system, Ecotricity can use the land rent-free in return for taking on all costs of planning, construction and operation but what's in it for the landowners? The attraction of the merchant wind model for us is that Ecotricity were, were taking the risk on the development and the investment while we got first refusal on, on uh, the power itself uh, whilst the turbines were built on our land. 
The turbine's supply goes directly to the port, providing all their present needs with a guaranteed green supply at a knockdown price. Well, there's a good saving on today's energy prices, and we hope that continues to be continues to be the case. And we look forward in a couple of months' time to generating electricity from the wind here. Any surplus will be sent to the grid. Merchant wind power is Ecotricity's big idea. The way we make electricity in the UK is the biggest cause of climate change, responsible for 30% of our CO2 emissions. And so the biggest thing that any of us can do uh, to fight climate change is change where our electricity comes from.